everyone, welcome to another Stitches and Scribbles tutorial. Today we're going to be making the Christmas Spirit Shawl, which is going to be a beautiful holiday colored shawl that can be worn as a shawl or as a triangle scarf. Um, I have also found that pieces like this actually make great decoration just to drape over the back of a chair or a couch just for a little added pop of Christmas color. I am using three skeins of Hirschner's Worsted 8 yarn for this in the colors Christmas, Deep Moss, and True Red. You can substitute holiday colors of your choosing, even from other yarn brands, just make sure you adjust your needle size accordingly. With this yarn, which is a normal DK weight yarn, I am using seven millimeter circular needles. Let's go ahead and get started. You're going to start with a slip knot as always and cast on two stitches to your circular needle. So one and two. We're gonna start with eight setup rows before we jump into our repeats. So row one, you're going to knit both stitches. Row two, you're also going to knit two stitches. Row three is where we're going to start our increases. We're not gonna use the same increase method here as we will for the rest of the piece, but we're gonna start with a knit front back. So to knit front back, you start as a normal stitch, but leave the loop on. Then you go through the back of that loop and knit again. So now we got two knit stitches out of one. We're gonna do that one more time. So knit through the front, knit through the back, and then let that loop drop off. So now we have a total of four stitches. We increased by two. Row four is just going to be to knit all four stitches. Row five, we're going to do another increase row. So we're going to knit one, knit front back twice. So front, back, front, back, and then knit one. And row six is to knit all the way across and we should now have a total of six stitches. For row seven, we're gonna start the increase method that we're going to use for the rest of the piece. So you're going to knit one, and then we're going to do a knit yarn over knit. So you're going to do a knit stitch as normal, leaving that loop on, yarn over, and then knit through the front again. So we just got three stitches from our one previous stitch, so an increase of two, and then knit the rest of the way across. We should now have a total of eight stitches. And row eight of our setup rows is just going to be to knit all the way across again. And you should have a little triangle that looks like that. The way the rest of the shawl is going to work, each color of yarn is going to have a different stitch pattern that goes with it. Each of those stitch patterns is going to have two repeat rows that you can repeat as many times as you want. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be doing two sets of each repeat, so four rows in each color before I move on to the next color. You can vary the width and the width of these rows, you can vary the color pattern. I'm just going to do multicolored green, red, and keep repeating that for the purpose of the tutorial, although I may do some random stripes later on or even switch up which stitch is in which color. This is totally customizable, so you can do it the way you want. I'm just going to show you how the repeat rows work so that you can make the stripes as you want. I'm going to call this the multicolor repeat pattern. So for your multicolor repeat pattern, row one is going to be to knit one, then do a knit yarn over knit. So knit, yarn over, knit. And then we're gonna start our lace pattern. So you're going to yarn over, knit two together, 
yarn over, knit two together. And you stop that yarn over, knit two together pattern when there are two stitches left, and then just knit both of them so that we have a nice edge on one side. The second row of the repeat, you're going to knit two, then knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, and the last two stitches you're just going to knit. And I'll show you that one more time to get the four repeat rows for the multicolor. Row one, you're going to knit one, and then knit yarn over knit, so knit, yarn over, knit. Then we're going to start our yarn over, knit two together pattern until there are two stitches left. So yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together. And now we have two left, so I'm just going to knit those two. Row two of the repeat, we're going to knit the first two stitches to give us that edge. Then we're going to do our knit two together yarn over pattern. So knit two together, yarn over, 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 and then just knit your last two. So you should have that triangle shape starting to form. Like that. Now I'm going to switch to green. I'm just going to do a slip knot around my multicolored strand because I'm going to carry the strands I'm not using up the side of my work so that I don't have to weave in any ends. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I hate doing that as I think most crafters do. So. Got that slip knot up as tight as I can. And now I'm gonna start my green repeats, which are really just gonna be stockinette stitch. So row one, you're going to, oh, it would help if I use the green string. Okay, got it. Row one, you're going to knit one, and then do a knit yarn over knit, just like we've been doing before. So knit, yarn over, knit. Then you're going to knit all the way across. We're not gonna stop with two at the end this time. Just knit all the way across. Then for row two of the repeat, you're going to knit the first two to keep that nice edge, especially because stockinette stitch curls. Then you're going to purl until there are two left. and then you're going to knit two. I'll show you both rows of the repeat one more time. So row one of the green repeat, you're going to knit one, and then knit yarn over knit. So knit, yarn over, and knit, and then knit all the way across. And 
And then on row two, you're going to knit those first two. Then purl until there's two left. and knit the last two. Here's a little bit more of that shape. The edge with the knit yarn over knits will curve a little bit. That's just part of the pattern design. So it'll be a little bit of a curved triangle instead of a straight one. Now we're gonna tie on our red. And when I do that, I'm actually gonna do the slip knot around both of my previous colors just to tie it on, but keep both the multicolored and the green nice and tight. Like that. You can also kind of wind your yarn together every time you're on this side of the piece to keep it even more together, which I will demonstrate in the next row. So for your red rows, we're going to be doing a moss stitch repeat. So you're going to start with your knit one and knit yarn over knit, just like always. Then we're going to start a knit one, purl one pattern. And we're going to repeat that until the last two and then just knit the last two. So knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, all the way down. And then when there's two left, you just knit them both. And on row two of the red, we're going to start by knitting the first two stitches to keep that knitted edge. Oop, it'd help if I didn't drop the needle. So one, two. And then we're going to start a purl one, knit one pattern so that we get the moss stitch. So purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, until there are two left. And then the last two, just knit them both. And turn your work. I'll show you one more row of the red um, stitches, just like I have been with each of the other colors, but I wanna show you how to carry your work up first. So the way you wanna do it is pull both of the unused strands up along the side, and you want to kind of wrap the red underneath it so that it's holding those two strands against the side of the work. And sometimes this may mean that you need to reorder your balls of yarn so that they're not tangled over each other. But now that we have the red yarn looped around the multicolored and the green, it's gonna keep that in place. So one more round of the repeat, you're going to knit one, and then do your knit yarn over knit knit, yarn over, knit. 
and then you're going to start your knit one, purl one pattern. So a knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one until there's two left. and just knit those last two. And row two of the repeat, you're going to knit those first two stitches again. And then start a purl one, knit one pattern. So purl one, knit one, until there's two left. and then just knit those last two. And so far, your shawl should look like this. So again, we've got that curved edge and this edge is going more straight. So it's going to be a corner to side striping pattern. Go ahead and repeat those three Repeat sections as many times as you like until you get the shawl to the length you want and I'll check back in in a little while with some progress. Alright, here's a quick progress update. So I have done three full rotations of my striping pattern and this is how big the shawl has gotten. I'm actually going to adapt my pattern um, because I want the stripes to get wider as the piece goes. So since I did three full patterns with four rows of each color, I'm now going to do three repeats of the pattern with six rows per color and then eight rows and so on until I reach my desired length just because I want those um, color stripes to get wider and wider as I go. But you could continue doing the same pattern as me. You could go back and forth with number of stitches. You could do really huge sections in each color. It's completely up to you. I just wanted to get some wider sections of those beautiful colors. All right, so I have finished up the body of my shawl. As you can see, it did get quite large. The last a um, few sections I did were rows of six stitches, it would help if it was facing the right way. So I had my last three sets of repeat were sets of eight stitches, which is why those stripes got wider towards the end, and I finished with my normal bind off. The last thing I'm going to do before being done with the shawl is doing a row of single crochet along the curved part that goes up against your neck and this is mostly just to hide the few tails that you would have to weave in. You can see as my stripes got longer I stopped carrying the yarn up the side because it was just getting very tangled. Um, but I'm going to do a row of single crochet along that edge just to kind of give it a cleaner, neater finish. So for that I am actually going to use the multicolored yarn and a crochet hook. I'm using a six millimeter hook. So I'm going to start with a slip knot and I'm going to pull that slip knot in right 
where the edge was of my final cast off. So to do a single crochet, you stick your hook into your work, pull through a loop once, and then pull through both loops. And you want to do this over those tail pieces so that you're wrapping them in as you go. So again, just one more time, pull through once, and pull through both, and doing that over those pieces of yarn that are sticking out. Go ahead and do that across that whole edge. All right, and here's the finished project. This is just a way of wrapping it. It does end up slightly asymmetrical. So on my hanger, I have draped the long end over the shoulder and then wrapped the short end over the top. And then here is a view of the back of the piece and you can see that point coming towards the center. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have fun with some holiday color combinations and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!